Hello and welcome to this introductory lesson on inequalities. Okay, so what are inequalities? Well, an inequality is when we are comparing two things like A and B that are not the same and we use some symbol to describe the relationship between these two values. Now let's look at some of the signs that we might be using. Okay, so one of the signs is we could say that A is less than B. Now you'll see this uh, sign has a is two lines and these two lines come together on the one side in other words they're close together on this side and far apart on this side. Now it's almost like an equation sign like equal would be like that so the distance between this side and that side is the same while the distance between this side is smaller than that side which means that this side is smaller because it's on the smaller end of the lines than that side now obviously if we just turn that sign around to look like this okay it would mean that the left hand side is larger larger or greater than the right hand side okay and this one is the left hand side is smaller or less than Okay, the right hand side. Okay, so just two brief examples. One is less than two, or seven is greater than five. Okay, so these are examples of inequalities. Okay, this is an inequality sign. Okay, now let's say we were using an unknown value like x and I were to tell you something like this is less than or equal to 2 now this sign sometimes I, I draw it like that okay this means it is less than x is smaller than so if I were to read this x is smaller or equal to 2. So this OR equal comes from this little extra line that we added here at the bottom whether you make it horizontal or in line with this bottom uh, it doesn't really matter. Okay, But what it means is that X can be any value. So if I were to have a number line here and a number line goes on forever but here at number 2, 1, 0, negative 1. X can be any number that is less than or equal to 2. So X can be, if I had to color in the numbers, X can be equal to 2. So I color in that. Okay, X can be equal to 1. It can be equal to 0. It can be equal to negative 1. Now I didn't specify whether X is a real number um, or whether it's an integer number, is it a whole number. So it let's say x was a real number then x could have been one and a half or a half or three quarters or actually anything that is less than two okay and it can be negative ten billion it doesn't matter as long as it's smaller than two that is what x would be and it includes two okay so that is what this line would be so if x was larger or if I think of another another number larger or equal to 0 then that would include 0 then y can be maybe 0 or y can be any number bigger than 0 in other words to the right side of 0 now this is an example of a graphic representation a graphic representation of our inequality here okay representing y that can take on any number larger than zero that's in the blue and x smaller or equal to zero that would be in the light blue okay so uh, this is basically what inequality is about I don't even know if I really 
um, explained anything new to you or if you at all got anything that I just said um, for me it's it's so second nature I don't even know what other people don't know so um, I, I hope I answered any questions you might have had at, um, up to this point uh, what I would like to get to now is just a little bit about sets okay now a set in mathematics if I talk about a set it is a mathematical collection of numbers a mathematical collection I'm not even going to say of numbers a set is a mathematical co collection and a set in a set we to describe a set we use curly brackets like this okay so whenever you see curly brackets you know that it is describing a set now if I say describing a set I can have curly brackets and inside the curly brackets I'm giving some sort of description okay so I could say uh, even numbers even numbers okay this is one way of describing it I was just describing it in words another way to describe even uh, even numbers all of the even numbers uh, let's say all of the positive even numbers I would go to comma 4 comma 8 comma 10 dot dot oh sorry I forgot 6 6 comma 8 that should be enough okay dot 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 the ellipse means it's going to infinity going on forever so whatever pattern you can recognize here this dot 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 means that that pattern is going on forever so I could describe even numbers like this or as it I could could have descri described it like this okay or I could have described it like this and this is a different way of describing it I could say n is an element of integers now you might not understand what I mean by this yet just just bear with me for one moment I'm saying that n is some integer any integer that's what this means n is some integer okay given okay no sorry I got it wrong I'm going to say I am working with 2n okay given that n is some integer so this might look a little bit weird but let me quickly explain to you 2n is the form of the type of numbers I'm going to use so I am working with numbers that have the form of 2 times n okay but there's a condition the the thing I'm multiplying with this n must be an int integer so for any anything in this set can be written as 2 times something where something is an integer okay so what this means is that n is an integer okay sorry I almost got that messed up okay but I'll, I'll, I'll stop there because now I'll get into some special sets this is called set notation by the way this is set notation so let me first go and have a look at a few special sets Okay, some special sets special sets okay now the one special set we just saw is the integers okay and for integers we use this uh, funny Z with this double line here and the integers is the set of all integers I'm just gonna describe it like this all integers you know all integers okay so in other words there's no fractions okay or no decimal digits so that's a set of all integers then we get something called so I'm just going to call this integers integers there we go then we get something called natural numbers natural numbers okay natural numbers have the form of just n any number okay 
given that, so this line means given that n is